What is going on guys? Is actually here. Welcome to uh, another Wolves video. Um, I was planning on doing the Wolves career mode episode today, but um, I'm going to do that when the full game actually releases. So uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, I'm not sure. But instead I'm going to be doing a Wolves Southampton preview uh, for the weekend. Now, last week's performance against Man United was one of the best of the season. Uh, honestly, one of the best of the season. We could have nicked it late on. And, yeah. We, we drew against Man City, won all. I thought that was the best performance of the season. That was third game in. And now, mid to late September, Man United won one draw again. So... Two two one one draws against the two best sides in the Premier League last season. So yeah, um, that that's just an amazing feat. And for a promoted club, um, I, I don't really like the, using the term promoted club to be honest um, with Wolves because. Because yes, we're a promoted club, but but I I think we we don't I don't really feel like we're we're a promoted club at the moment because a promoted club is expected to struggle in the league um, and expected to get relegated uh, depending on what their team is like uh, all those uh, kind of qualities. But I think the squad we have. The squad we have, I don't think it deserves the warrant for promoted club. I, I don't think it deserves. I don't. I don't think it deserves the title of that. To be honest, I don't think it deserves the title of that. Um, and I think that. I, I think that. Um, well, the football. Let me just talk about the football that we're playing at the moment. The football we're playing at the moment. It. You, if if someone just walked into Molyneux one day, walked into Molyneux, just to watch a game, say, oh, oh, here's a, um, here's, here's a new, new promoter club. Ah, let's see how they play. And then they just saw how we, how, how we play. And there's, they'd, they'd question themselves. They'd, they'd think, have we, have we come to the right game here? Because this looks like a fully established Premier League club. Like, we're playing we're playing football at the moment like a fully established Premier League club not like a newly promoted club um we're playing positive football against the bigger teams like Man City and Man United we're playing po positive football we went in the lead against the champions of last season we went in the lead albeit a bit lucky I guess a bit lucky or handball but it, it doesn't matter how he scored maybe it is but handball but still it the goal stood. You can't change that now. The goal stood, and we were one nil up for about twenty twenty five minutes in a game against Man City. We were one nil up for that amount of time against Man City. That that feels like a win in my in my books. That feels like a win. Holding a lead for twenty or twenty five minutes against Man City. That's great. And then we go to Man United. We go one nil down. Yes, to a great goal. Uh, um, Great teamwork by by Pogba uh, and and Fred. Uh, great finish and a great assist as well. Just tapped it, just tapped it like that. Um, and yeah, great assist. And then and then what do we do in the second half? Uh, and and for the rest of the first half, we keep on trying. We keep trying to get that equaliser, but it, it never quite came off in the first half. Then the second half. Like was it like seven eight seven or eight minutes into the second half, bang, Matinho scores one all, and that was a class goal. For, by the way, that was an absolute class goal. Um, but we we're, we're playing positive football, even when we're going one nil down against the these 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 type of teams. We're still positive, and and that that showed through in the second half because we managed to. Uh, uh, level up. Uh, other newly promoted clubs, you know, uh, other newly promoted clubs would have just, uh, once would, they went one nil up, they were, uh, one nil down. Sorry, once they went one nil down, they probably would have. Oh dear, 
Oh dear. Our game's over already. Let's just sit back. Let's just sit back and and invite pressure and try and so, try and soak up the pressure. There's no point in going for a goal now. We're not gonna get it. But oh, uh, the way Nuno set up the team and stuff like that. Um, it's 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 not. It's not like that in our case. It's not like that because we we we're not that type of club that goes oh oh we one nil down now we are one nil down y yeah let let's just go defensive let's just go defensive let's 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 try and keep this a low scoring game. That's not our attitude. That's not our attitude. We 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 try to go forward and try and push for that equaliser. Like say say we were Chelsea and we were playing against Man United. We are one nil down. We want to get. We want. We want to get that equaliser. We want to get that equaliser, and try and push up from there. And we're exactly like 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 someone like Chelsea um, against a team like Man United. We try and get that equaliser, not like like one of those uh, newly promoted clubs. So, um, so yeah, I don't. I don't think we deserve the title of newly promoted club. Uh, to be honest, uh, and against Southampton, I think against these games like Burnley, Southampton, Bournemouth, um, Burnley, Southampton, Bournemouth, uh, what else? Crystal Palace, po uh, yeah, I guess Fulham uh, that came up with us uh, as well. I get, and especially Cardiff as well. Um, and in in these games. They, these are big, big opportunities. Big opportunities to get three points, uh, to get three points on the board. And if you want to survive in your th first season, that is what you've got to do against the poorer sides that we have more chance for winning against. We've got to pick up three points because, um, yeah, say you had somebody like Southampton. And then the next week, you had Liverpool. The next week, you have to win the, these sort of games. So, one, it carries momentum into that uh, game against, say, Liverpool. Um, um, and and two, if you're coming off a draw or uh, uh, or like say a three-one loss against Southampton, you're coming into a game against Liverpool. You're gonna you're gonna feel um, you, you're gonna feel demotivated, and and that's gonna that, that, that they especially against a team like Liverpool, they're gonna take advantage of that, and there yeah you and then uh, then you're in for a right um uh, you're in for a right slap then, um so yeah um we've got to win this uh. We've got to win these games, to be honest. We've got to win these games. And, yeah, hopefully we can. Hopefully we can win the, uh, this game. I think we can. Because we proved we dominated against Burnley. Just the finishing touches weren't there. Luckily, uh, Raul Jimenez, Raul Jimenez uh, could uh, could get the, the, the winner for us. But we should have won that game, like, 4 or 5 nil. to be honest. The chances we had, we had, like, 30 attempts on goal. I'm not even joking. Thirty, like thirty attempts on goal, and we really should have won that uh, by more. But um, yeah, um, no Wolves career mode uh, tonight. That'll be hopefully over the weekend. Um, I might do a live stream tonight. Don't know what of. Maybe FIFA 19 to make up for it. I might do FIFA 19. I've still got like 10 hours left. I've only played the uh, yeah, Access once, which is like stupid. I should be playing it more. But yeah, uh, game comes out tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. And um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching this uh, match preview. If you did uh, enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. And I shall hopefully see you with a live stream tonight, maybe. Until then, goodbye, guys! Go. <laughs>